This little mini has lived a hard life. Well, not just yet, but by the time we're finished with it, she'll look a lot rougher. You've watched me do this 100 times before. I'm using a 964th drill bit to drill out the top of the pillars. Drill slowly and don't slide off into the chassis. I'll use this burr bit to knock off the top of the pillars. This will make it easier to drill for the self-tapping screws later. I'll soak the chassis in bleach for about 20 minutes or so. This will remove the chrome. I'll paint the chassis flat black later. Ten minutes later. I don't want to rough up the body too much, but I don't want it to be perfect either. I'll just create a couple of previous fender benders using these diamond bits. If you're enjoying this video so far, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Now it's time to lay down the first layer of rust. I really don't want to go overboard with the rust, so whatever I add, I can take off later. I'll mix a little dark brown and orange to get the desired color. After this first layer cures, I'll give it a light coat of matte clear. After the matte clear cures, I can build off of that. Right now, it's rough, but it's a good start. The chassis also gets a coat of matte black. And now, the final layer of painted rust and fading. The three primary colors that I'll be using for this last painted layer is red, orange, and brown. Just keep mixing until you get the desired color. Again, there is no right or wrong with this step, do it any way that you want.
Even though you won't see much of the interior, I still want to lighten up the black interior a bit. I'll be using this satin otter brown to dress it up a bit. One light coat should do the trick. I usually do this next step before I apply any paint, but this time, I forgot. I'll drill the pillars for the self-tapping screws. I'll supply links in the description for the screws and driver that I use. I also center punched the pillars before drilling. This will help align the bit with the center of the pillar. I think it's safe to go ahead and assemble the chassis and body. Everything else I need to do, I can do with it assembled. Not Alvin and the chipmunks playing in the background, it's actually the godfather. I want to have a tree growing out of the windshield of this car. I could use a pre-made tree, make my own tree, or use a real tree. I've decided to use a real tree that was donated from one of the maples in our front yard. To preserve the tree, I'll give it a coat of my mixture of white glue and water. One part white glue, three parts water. I'll do this over the course of many hours, giving the glue mixture ample time to cure. Once I have a few layers of the glue mixture applied and cured, I'll add some additional foliage. Now I need to make a hole in the windshield for the tree. Nothing a little heat and metal coat hanger can't take care of. Be careful not to burn yourself. If you're a young fella or gal, be sure to get an adult to help you. Now I'll use the engraver to add some stress cracks to the windshield. <laughs> now it's time for another layer of detail. This is where you can be as creative as you want. The pastel chalks work perfectly to fill in any gaps that I may have missed with the paint. It'll also add shading and different textures to the surface which adds a lot of depth. I'll use 80 grit sandpaper to create the dust out of the chalks, then use a soft brush to apply the dust. If you don't think that you've applied enough after it's sealed with the matte clear, you can always go back and add more. Here, I've already applied a light coat of the matte clear. Before the matte clear cures, I'll give it a spritz of isopropyl alcohol. This will give the paint and windows a faded, washed look when it dries.
Now it's time to start work on the display base. First, I'll scuff the surface of the base with some 80 grit sandpaper. This will help the glue to adhere to it. Now I'll tape it down to the piece of my work glass just to keep it secure. This lets me move it around and have better control. Time for a liberal coat of white school blue. This is Woodland Scenic's fine turf grass. I'll add a pretty good amount to the glue, as I don't want the ground to be perfectly level or smooth. Everything now gets a good spritz of isopropyl alcohol. This will allow my mixture of three parts water and one part glue to flow into the turf and not run off the sides. As you can see, I'll apply a good amount of the water and glue mixture. This will keep everything secure. For a little landscaping, I'll go ahead and add this little stone. Now it's time to step away and let the glue begin to cure. After 30 minutes or so, I'll go ahead and remove the tape. It's important to remove the tape before the glue totally cures. I'll also place the car in its permanent spot. I'll also add a few pinches of my sifted backyard dirt. This will look totally different once everything cures. I'll let it sit overnight before doing anything else. Back to this tree idea. I'll be piecing some small branches together to create a short, stubby tree. I'll use some super glue and baking soda to piece the branches together. I'll take the buds from the original tree idea and place them around the display as small plants. Remember, use what you have available, you can still achieve some really nice results. I'll also cut up some extra pre-made plants to place around the display. Anything to add a little contrast and depth. Now I'll take the stubby tree that I made and add some foliage. I'm not totally happy with the results, but I think it'll work. After a little trimming, I'll glue the tree in place and let everything that I've glued so far cure a bit before moving on to the next step. Now that the glue has cured a bit, I'll move on to the next step. 
As you can see, I've taped the display base down to my piece of working glass. Again, this just helps me move things around a little easier. I'll add a little Woodland Scenics rough turf. As always, this is where you get to be as creative as you want. Add as much turf as you want to achieve the desired look. These are external roots from my wives hanging ferns. They'll be perfect for small dead trees and bushes. I'll give everything one last spritz of the isopropyl alcohol and a few more drops of my water and glue mixture. I'll also add some random basil leaves for ground coverage. After that, it's just a matter of letting the glue cure one last time. Remember to remove the tape after 30 minutes or so. This was a fairly quick inside weekend project since the weather was so rainy and nasty. Honestly, it turned out much better than I thought it would, I'm very happy with the end result. This may be our first giveaway project if it receives enough likes. If you've made it this far, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up. We'd certainly appreciate it. You can also find out more about our projects by visiting our websites. KentuckyHotWheels.com and HouseOfBoyd.com If you'd like to contribute to our efforts please visit our Patreon page by clicking the link in the description.